What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Welcome to my first week as a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. I actually start my first day tomorrow in the pediatrics rotation. We're gonna have our hospital induction and everything like that because it's still the first day and the first week. But I wanted to pick up my camera today because I haven't vlogged in so, so long. If you guys have been following me on this channel, you know that I've been studying for the USMLE Step 1 exam for about six months now. It's been something really long and really crazy. So you guys should have already seen that video by the time this one goes live. Finally done with that horrible exam and I can just move on with my life. I'm pretty excited to start medical school again tomorrow, get back in the swing of things, of just being really productive and having a lot of things on my plate, which I have to juggle and balance. I'm always happy when I have a lot of things to do. I've got a pretty early wake up tomorrow. They've asked us to come in at 8.30 a.m. So I'm gonna wake up at 6.30. I think I'm just gonna go for a run now and then relax, take the rest of the evening off before med school starts. Fourth year of med school, whoa! Yeah, I kind of feel like this is my last day of freedom, the last day of my very short two week summer holiday before medical school starts and before I'm just so busy that I don't even know what to do with myself. Anyways, I'm babbling on way too much. I'm gonna go for a run. Two, cheeky three. Five. And I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early for my first day as a fourth year medical student. All right, good morning guys. It is 7.20 a.m. and I need to find out what I'm wearing for the day. Gonna be leaving the house in a bit. It feels strange, I haven't put on my clinical work clothes and gone to the hospital since, I think the last time I went was February. So it's been, I don't know, like seven months or so. This is what we're wearing. Three, two, one. One crazy thing that I wanted to show you guys is this, but more specifically, this. That is me, and that is me, that is me, and this is me, that is me, and this is me. But I'm honestly getting way too close to the time that I need to leave, so I'm just gonna put on something warm and get out of here. I'm gonna be on my merry way, and I will catch up with you guys somewhere along the journey. Peace. it's like half as full as it was last year when I'd be traveling this early in the morning. So today, the whole day, we're basically just doing an induction, so it shouldn't be anything too strenuous or too stressful. So yeah, it should be quite an interesting day. I'm excited to meet the other people that I'm gonna be with on clinical placement. And let's get started. Alright guys, all done with the induction now. I was actually pretty short, it's like just after midday. It was more formalities about learning where different things are at this hospital, and it's actually the same one that I was at last year, so I'm already familiar with most of the different things, which is really nice. We also had an introduction to pediatric basic life support, which was quite interesting, and we got our masks fit tested to make sure that there's a very tight seal for when we go on all of the wards that have patients and other high-risk patients as well. So yeah, I'm gonna head home now. Uh, we do have one lecture in the afternoon that's gonna be online on Zoom, so I'm I'm just gonna tune into that from home. I don't need to stay here for that. And yeah, catch up then. That is my dream. Gotta go. Oh my God. You guys, I left this morning and it was boiling. Uh, it was freezing this morning. And now it's so hot. Classic London. First day is over. Oh. Anyways, let me change into something more comfortable and I'll update you guys on everything that went down today. All right, check it out guys. So, I've got a brand new name badge. How cool is that? First things first, the um, lecture hall where we were being given our induction, we were all socially distanced and so our chairs were all like two meters apart. It was so weird to see, you know, usually in lecture halls you're all like crammed next to each other. So that's the first big change. I have got exactly 12 minutes to gobble this down before my Zoom meeting starts. So I'm gonna get to work on that. I'll pick up with you guys again once I'm in the Zoom call taking notes. I actually don't know what this lecture is on. I should probably check. I have like a super irrational fear that I'm accidentally gonna leave my mic or my camera on during the Zoom call. Just embarrass myself horribly. Does, any, does anyone else have this? Let us log in and get this show on the road. Alright guys, before I get stuck into some work, 
let me show you what our introductory week consists of. Basically anything in orange is in-person teaching that we need to be in the hospital for. And then this blue stuff is online or Zoom teaching and lectures. The weeks after this are gonna be completely different or hospital based and stuff like that. So now what I need to do is go through the introduction week teaching recordings. So these are the recordings that sort of give us an outline or overview of our course over the next year. For example, Monday, Tuesday, you're in the hospital. Wednesday, we have this quality improvement project, which is something that I need to familiar familiar familiarize myself with and figure out what it's all about and then thursday friday we're in the hospital again i want to make sure i listen through all of those get all the important information out write it down so i have it somewhere central that i can refer to in the future all right i'm gonna get listening i'm gonna get note taking and i'll catch up with you guys later Got some useful info about how testing is going to be going on throughout the year, specifically about the progress tests, which we have here at King's, which are tests that test you on content that you haven't seen yet. So for example, the test that I have next month is gonna test me on all the material covered in years four and five, even though I have barely just begun year four. Anyways, I think I'm gonna put the camera down for now and I'll pick it up probably tomorrow, continuing on with this first week of fourth year of medical school. Hey guys, nothing too interesting going on this morning. I'm just sitting and listening to some of the lectures for the introductory week. I'm just gonna sit down and continue taking lecture notes probably up until lunch and then see what else is going on and what I can do with my day. The next lecture is on pediatric respiratory presentations. This should be good because I read about a lot of these types of presentations in the USMLE step one preparation that I was doing. So hopefully there's a good amount of overlap and I remember everything that I just studied. Hey guys, it's been a couple more hours of uh, taking lecture notes and I just wanted to pause because I've realized in a very happy way that some of the studying that I did for the USMLE step one exam, I'm now seeing in these lectures that I'm going through. I just sort of have this sense of comfort, sort of like a safety blanket or a cushion, I guess, where I've seen this material once and now I'm building on top of that knowledge as opposed to seeing it for the first time. All right, guys, I am finally done with the lectures for today. It is much later, it's almost 7 p.m. in the evening. We had pediatric history and examination, respiratory lectures one and two, neonatal problems one and two, and then common pediatric infection presentations. Okay, so that's all done. I definitely need a change of pace. I need a change of headspace. I need to do something else. And so I'm gonna go to the gym. So the goal now that school is starting and I am injury free, knock wood a thousand times. I wanna start going back to the gym, putting on some muscle mass again, growing and just feeling good about my body in general once again. That is me ready. I'm going to get going. I will see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, guys, good morning. I have finished my cup of coffee and gotten a second one, actually. It's hidden behind me over there. I am ready to start talking to you guys. So for today's schedule over here, this is morning lectures that we have to do. And then in the afternoon, we have face-to-face -face teaching at the hospital. I'm gonna get listening to those morning lectures. There's only two of them, so it shouldn't take me that long to do. And then I'll have a quick lunch before heading out and going into the hospital. All right, let's get started. You know, this first week of medical school has been a lot less hands-on than I expected. It's mostly been an introduction week, I guess. It's basically been like Zoom online classes for the most part anyway, which I know is something that you guys have probably had quite a lot of experience with now because a lot of high school was moved to online and a lot of university classes as well. But because medicine is such a hands-on career and such a hands-on degree, I'm really excited to get back into the hospital and do a lot of that practical aspect, um, which I've definitely been missing since about February of this year. All right, just gonna head back to lecture. <laughs> my desk in my room oh anyways i've just got one more lecture to do i'm gonna bang this out on like 1.75 times speed take some notes get through it and then prepare for what we're doing this afternoon guys i just learned something really cool apparently when you have like a vasovagal episode when you just faint because of low blood pressure and decreased blood perfusion to the brain apparently it's completely normal to have limb jerking of all four limbs i had absolutely no clue very cool all right back to work second part 
part of the induction, the face-to-face -face induction this week. It was really, really great because I got to meet all the other students that I'm gonna be with over the next eight weeks. We got to talk or get to know each other a little bit better. And then we also got introduced to our clinical supervisor and she showed us around the hospital to all the different areas that we're gonna be in. This year is different to previous years because we get an entire week on each of the wards that we're assigned to which means that we get to know the medical staff better, we get to see a little bit of, of continuity with the patients, which is fantastic, because that's something we've been completely missing the last couple of years. So I'm really excited to get started on that. Now for today, I've got a little bit more administrative work to do, um, not too much, just sort of organizing a little bit of my life in regards to medical school, writing down deadlines, and then, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a long time that I'm very, very excited for, which is to play video games with my sister. We absolutely love playing video games, but we just don't get the chance to do that that often because we're both very busy people. Um, but today, we just both happen to have a bit of spare time, so we've penciled it in. All right, I'm gonna put my phone away because it's getting quite wet, and I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, guys, I've had a chance to eat um, and chill a little bit. It's been a bit of a weird one this evening. I feel like half of my brain is telling me to chill, and the other half of my brain is telling me to be productive and work through the long to-do list that I have for all kinds of different things in my life. I think I'm just gonna turn off for the evening, sit down and play video games with my sister. We're currently playing The Last of Us 2, one of my top three favorite games of all time. It's basically very story driven, very like drama and heavy, and it just feels like you're playing through a real life movie. It's, it's an insanely good game. guys so it's friday the last day of my first introductory week in my fourth year of medical school i have a couple of lectures for today let me show you guys not too heavy of a schedule just these four over here uh, i already finished the first one which is why it's highlighted in yellow this is basically the last day before we start proper clinical placement and i'm in the hospital four days a week working very very hard and being very very busy so definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you're interested in seeing more medical school vlogs with actual hands-on clinical related things i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of nervous about going back to the wards next week probably gonna show up and one of the junior doctors is gonna tell me to go take a history from x patient and then report it back to them or go do this or go do that and I'm gonna feel completely lost. It's been so many months since we've been in the hospital in that clinical setting and so I feel like I need a little bit of time to get back into it and get used to it again. On the weekend on Sunday I'm gonna do some preparation for being on the clinics on Monday. So for example I'm really gonna look over history taking again make sure that I have that down and then specifically pediatric history taking and pediatric examination because I'm almost certain I'm gonna be asked to do those things probably on one of my first days. For today I've got a bunch of lectures to do. I just did a lecture on atypical development in children and now I'm going to do lectures on pediatric surgery or common pediatric common surgical presentations in pediatric <laughs> common pediatric surgical presentations all right so I'm going to continue on with that and I will see you in a bit Guys, 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 I just got a message on WhatsApp from my research supervisor from last year, and she let us know that our paper has been accepted to a journal. Oh my God, I'm so happy. It was like, it's been almost a year, almost exactly a year of work on this, uh, on this research paper, collecting data, writing the paper, all the reviews and edits, stats, number crunching. Oh my God, it's been so much, and we have actually been accepted for publication in a journal. So your boy's gonna get published. To know that I'm actually gonna be published is so fantastic. I can't wait to see it in the journal. Probably gonna frame it and put it on my wall somewhere because I'm really happy about it and I'm, I'm really, really proud. Wow, what a lovely piece of news to hear. That's awesome, that's awesome. Okay, back to my lectures. I'm still here at my desk taking lecture notes, but something cool came in the mail. I should say something cool, very heavy, and very big. Ooh, shiny. So this is a huge medical textbook. Now granted, I already know that I'm not gonna use this as my main study resource, I'm not gonna be opening it every single day, etc., etc. but I do want to have it so that I can refer to it when I need to. I am pretty much brain dead from listening to lectures almost every single day this week. So Nora and I are gonna go out to the shops, we're gonna get some coffee, walk around, just chill a little bit and catch up because we haven't really hung out in quite a long time since I've been away and studying for the exam and things like that. We sat in a park for a little bit and just had a little bit of a chat and caught up. I usually almost never drink cold coffee like this, but I just felt like a little bit of a change from my classic flat whites or Americanos and things like that. So got this, it's not that great. <laughs> I prefer my hot coffee, but now I'm gonna sit down or stand up and do a bunch more lectures. I'm almost done though, 
two more lectures and I'll be done with my introductory week. Let's see what's left, what's left. Hematology presentations in pediatrics and then normal and abnormal behavior. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, and just like that, my introductory week for my fourth year of medical school at King's College London is over. I've gone through a bunch of lectures on pediatrics, attended the hospital twice, and we had a decent amount of on-site teaching, but next week is where it's really gonna pick up with the clinical aspect. I'm gonna be in the pediatrics outpatients clinic four days of the week, so I'm sure I'll be seeing lots of patients taking many, many histories, which I'm gonna practice tomorrow, I think, just in time for Monday. So anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have found it useful. I know I probably rambled quite a bit. This was a lot more of a talking vlog than my usual ones, but feel free to let me know what you thought of it. Leave me any feedback in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace. Lighting, 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 getting better, okay.